here we are for one of David's farm famous cold starts. Now let me ask the guy how long this car's been sitting here. But he told me it's kind of rare. What year is this car? Now, it's kind of rare because it's a TII. A TII. Looks like about a 72 or 71 or something like that to me. It's been sitting in this garage for years. You can look at the plate. It's December 99, and the guy died, but we got the key from the person who inherited the car. What'd you say the date was? I don't even see it on here. Oh, okay. Well, looking by the skinny bumpers and to be allowed to ship to this country I with... Think it's, I, think it's, it's a, I think it's a 73 or 4. Yeah, but it's got doesn't have those crash bumpers. So anyways, we're going to have to boost it and prime it and see if this thing will start. Unfortunately, we're kind of crammed in here, so can't get much of a shot of the front end. It's a crack in the window. I wonder if that lady who got it is going to sell it since what's she going to do with it? Those old horsehair stuffed leather or vinyl seats with mildew growing on them. It says 33,000 miles. Ooh, everything's yucky to touch. <laughs> you do have the key? Yeah. Sweet. Well, now let's try the key. As we know, this thing hasn't been started for years, so Obviously, there's no juice in the battery. So, let's figure out how to open this hood. I wonder if that does. Maybe. <clears throat> Which way does it open? From here. Oh, that worked good. Oh, the battery's unhooked. <clears throat> wonder what kind of motor. It looks like about a 1.6 or something like that. Hmm, the date might be over there. I'll go take a look. Well, of course, there's a usual amount of dust for sitting in a garage for 13 years. Tires are half flat. I couldn't actually get to the other side. There's too much junk over there. But I guess what makes this famous or special is the fact that it's fuel injected, which was pretty rare back then, except for Volkswagens. Mechanical fuel injection. I know the battery's dead, so I'm going to have to take the battery out of my van and see what's going to happen. Well, battery's hooked up. Sure sounds like it's got a noisy fuel pump. Buzzing away. I guess. <laughs> Back in these old cars, I guess that the fuel pump ran all the time. It wasn't on some sort of safety relay. It is a bit ratty under here. I wonder if it's even got any gas in the tank. All right. No prime or anything, we're going to see what's going to happen. Clutch still works. We have brake pressure. Oops, throttle is stuck. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Um, that's an issue. Alrighty, let me prop that door open. Door's propped and I smell stale fuel. And I'm looking into the car and right there I see it dripping. Hmm, that sucks. I'll see if it cranks anyways. Hope it don't catch fire. Now this is points of condenser, so I bet you it could have no spark. Could have no fuel pressure either with the leak. can't pump that thing, it sticks. Damn it. Come on. Give it a little bit of throttle. A little more. It stays wherever I put it. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go for a little shot of Prime and see what happens. Well, after peering into the glove box, I determined this is a 1973 uh, repair fuel leak. How ironic. <laughs> it didn't do a good job, I guess. 
I wonder what year oh, that was in. 7 16th of 97. Hmm. Repair must have only lasted two years. Because it hasn't been driven since 99. Well, I've just found the source of the fuel leak. It's the injector pump. Man, is that stuff stinky. Well, I'll just give it a little prime in the air hole for the air cleaner and see if it fires up for a second so we don't shoot fuel everywhere. All right, prime is in. If it doesn't, doesn't start now, it's got no spark. Oh. Hmm. What are those things doing on? How do you turn them off? Hard to work a car that doesn't have a gas pedal that works. <clears throat> These things won't shut off. Go baby! It's only been 13 years! Hmm, not looking good. If the other guy was still here, he could put his hand over the air cleaner and choke it a bit for me. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Not even any smoke! Sweet! Oh, it's leaking bad now. Cool. Must have really only 33,000 miles to have a car like this that's this old that doesn't smoke. Well, I'll give it one rev, then I'll shut it off before we fill the garage with gas. the gas bed now. <coughs> well I did manage to climb over to the other side so we can get a, another different profile of the motor and a shot of the specs and it appears to be 120 21 cubic inches which is around 1.8 liter. I can't read any of that stuff because I ain't German. At least she's a runner. The only thing I checked on it was the oil, it was fine. Sweet.